Safety starts with me. Safety starts with you. Safety starts with us. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Today we are going to talk about safety in the laboratory. Our focus will be on hazard prevention. What is the basic understanding of safety? Safety is the condition of being protected from harm or other non-desirable outcomes. It also refers to the control of recognized hazards in order to achieve an acceptable level of risk. Let us focus on hazard prevention in the laboratory. In every laboratory, there is a responsible person, and one of the responsibilities is to ensure safety in the laboratory. Here are some of the preventive measures that can be put in place to assure safety in the laboratory. Avail general and specific safety instruction to all laboratory staff. Train all laboratory personnel on safety in the laboratory. Instruct the laboratory personnel on safe working practices and encourage them to look out for hazardous conditions as well as recommend and implement accident prevention. Avail safety data sheets to staff before handling any sample for analysis or any chemical. Familiarize the staff with the use of the firefighting equipment, including the fire extinguishers, fire blankets, and gas masks. Give special care is appropriate in handling highly potent infectious and volatile substances. Handle highly toxic and genotoxic samples in a specially designed facility to avoid the risk of contamination. Label all containers of chemicals and include prominent warnings such as poison, flammable, whenever appropriate. Adequately provide insulation and spark proofing for electrical wiring and equipment including refrigerators. Observe rules on safe handling of gas cylinders, pipes of compressed air and familiarized with the relevant color identification codes. Avoid working alone in the laboratory. In case of any emergency, you cannot be assisted. Provide first aid materials and instruct staff in first aid techniques, emergency care, and use of antidotes. Provide personnel protective equipment to staff such as lab coats, eye protection, gloves, and masks, which are used by laboratory analysts when carrying out analysis. Rubber suction bulbs are fitted on manual pipettes and siphons to prevent accidental ingestion of reagents. Smoking, eating, and drinking in the laboratory are prohibited. No running in the laboratory. All laboratory staff are instructed in the safe handling of glassware, corrosive reagents, and solvents as part of in-house training, particularly in the use of safety containers to avoid spillage. Display warning, precautions, and instructions in form of posters in the laboratory to provide guidelines on handling of hazardous materials. Warning, precautions, and instructions are given for work with violent, uncontrollable, or dangerous reactions when handling specific reagents, e.g. mixing water and acids, acetone, chloroform, and ammonia. Use peroxide-free solvents for analytical work. Safely dispose of unwanted corrosive or dangerous products as per documented procedure for disposal of laboratory wastes. Label poisonous and hazardous material appropriately to alert the user. Handling of reagents is done in accordance with information provided in material safety data sheets. Avoid unnecessary contact with reagents, solvents, and their vapors by wearing gloves, masks, and use of fume hood. Avoid the use of non-carcinogens and mutagens as reagents. Each laboratory employee shall familiarize themselves with the location, application, and correct ways to operate the following equipment. Fire extinguishers, fire alarms, safety showers, eye wash stations, first aid kits, chemical response pills, emergency telephone, emergency exit, fire assembly points. Inspect the above equipment regularly to ensure that they are all in good working condition. Good housekeeping. Keep all aisles, hallway, and corridors clear of all chemicals. Do not use hallways and corridors as storage areas. Do not block access to emergency equipment, utility control, showers, eye washes, and exits. Keep waste in appropriate containers and labeled properly. What about visitors? Visitors are not allowed to enter the laboratory unaccompanied. 
The reason for visiting the laboratory should be clearly specified. They are taken through basic safety precautions before entry. Visitors are provided with protective equipment before accessing the laboratory. So safety is everyone's responsibility. Stay safe.